Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's Somerville High School. <laughs> Cyber attacks aren't always obvious. Home cyber protection from Safety Insurance can help you protect yourself from cyber attacks. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage live storms. This is the place where planets collide, where the world is taking notice, where 28,000 brilliant young minds from 65 countries call home. UMass Amherst, this is the place. The Museum of Science, featuring a new film, Cuba. Through the eyes of Cuban artists, historians, and scientists, you can take a look at what makes this island nation so unique and vivacious. Now playing at the Museum of Science's Mugar Omni Theater. More at mos.org. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Jeff Kinney, filling in for Billy Costa. I'm a former High School Quiz Show celebrity contestant and a huge fan of the show. But enough about me. Back in November, over 100 high school teams in Massachusetts competed in our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of 16 spots in this year's competition. The goal now is to become the next high school quiz show state champion and to take home this beautiful trophy. Today's matchup has Brookline High School taking on Somerville High School. On the Brookline team, we have Guy, Emma, Oscar, and Bradley with alternates Ryan and Noah and coaches Tyler Uli Brown and Adam Freed. Let's give it up. And for Somerville, we have Edith, Sam, Max, and Kevin with alternate Isra and coach Ted Blake. The competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Okay, is everybody ready? Let's have some fun. In 1543, what Polish astronomer argued that the sun, rather than the Earth, is the center of the solar system? Max. Copernicus. That's correct. In 2001, Publishers Weekly listed what story of a pig and a spider as the best-selling children's paperback of all time? Bradley. Charlotte's Web. That's correct. In 1776, what American patriot anonymously published his influential pamphlet, Common Sense? Max. Thomas Paine. That's correct. On the PBS series The Great American Read, what 1960 book set in the fictional town of Maycomb, Alabama was named America's favorite novel? Sam. To Kill a Mockingbird. That is right. Okay, let's take a look at your screens. Pictured here is Eleanor Roosevelt in her wedding dress in New York City in 1905. Before her marriage to FDR, what was her maiden name? The correct answer is Roosevelt. Uh-oh. Eleanor and Franklin were fifth cousins once removed, so it's okay. <laughs> in 2018, what American rapper and Instagram star released her debut album titled Invasion of Privacy? Bradley. Cardi B. That is correct. In 1836, what American industrialist patented a revolver mechanism that enabled a gun to be fired multiple times without reloading? Guy. Colt. That's correct. What South American country is the only country that passes through both the equator and a tropic? Emma. Ecuador. Incorrect, Somerville. Max. Brazil. That is right. Also known as epinephrine, what hormone has a positive effect on athletic performance by boosting the body's heart rate? Guy. Adrenaline. Adrenaline is right. Okay, moving on. Take a look at your video screens. Hi, I'm Janine Madrid, and I'm a Senior Education Associate with the Museum of Science. Here's my question. 
Found in every ocean on Earth, humpback whales were nearly driven to extinction 50 years ago, but today are making a steady recovery. All whales belong to what order of mammals? Max. Cetaceans? That is correct. Walt Whitman is the author of what landmark poetry collection that includes Song of Myself and I Sing the Body Electric? Max. Leaves of grass? That's right. The Zanzibar Archipelago is a series of islands located in what ocean? Guy. Indian. That's right. At the 2018 G7 summit, President Trump shocked longtime U.S. allies when he called for what country to be reinstated? Guy. Russia. That's right. In the United States, weather patterns most often move in which of the following directions? A, east to west, B, west to east, or C, north to south? Oscar. B. B is right. Here's a math question. Find the area of a trapezoid with a height of 16 centimeters and bases of five and seven centimeters. Bradley. 96. That is right, 96 square centimeters. What country has the second highest population in the world after China? Max. India. India is right. The first in a series of novels, what Scott Westerfeld book is set in a world where everyone is turned into a pretty with extreme cosmetic surgery upon reaching age 16? Max. Uglies? Uglies is right. On March 14th, 2013, a day after he was elected pope, who stopped by a Vatican hotel to pick up his luggage and pay the bill himself? Max. Francis. Yes, in 1643, what Italian physicist and student of Galileo built the first mercury barometer for measuring air pressure? Yes, Max. Torricini? No, uh, Brookline, would you like to try? Guy. Pascal? Incorrect, it's Torricelli. Okay, literally meaning blowing out as an oil lamp, what highest state of consciousness in Buddhism is synonymous with bliss? Bradley. Nirvana? Nirvana is correct. Based on a 2004 novel, what Tony Award winning play tells the backstory of Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, and Captain Hook? Oscar. Peter and the Starcatcher. That is right. Okay, multiple choice question. Which of the following countries completely surrounds the tiny landlocked country of Lesotho? A, South Africa, B, Chad, or C, Mali? Sam. A, South Africa. That is right. Tom Brady was drafted by both the NFL and Major League Baseball. In 1995, he turned down an offer to play catcher for what now defunct Montreal team? Sam. Expos. That's right, the Montreal Expos. What lake in the Sierra Nevada is the largest alpine lake in North America? Emma. Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe's right. Math question. Lucy can type 675 words in nine minutes. How many words can she type in 13 minutes? Yes, Sam. Um, 850. Incorrect, Brookline? 975. Bradley? 975 is correct. In October 2018, what South Carolina politician announced she would resign as U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations? Max. Nikki Haley? That's right. Elie Wiesel wrote about surviving Auschwitz and Buchenwald in what acclaimed 1956 memoir? Guy. Knight. That's right. In the film The Last King of Scotland, Forrest Whitaker plays what dictator who led a brutal regime in Uganda in the 1970s? Max. Idi Amin. That's right. Named after the French scientist who invented it, what process of using low heat to reduce bacteria is commonly used with milk and cheeses? That's Max. Pasteurization. That's right. In 1975, what U.S. president declared the Vietnam War was officially over? Emma. Nixon. Incorrect, Somerville. Sam. Um, Carter. Incorrect, it is Gerald Ford. In T.H. White's novel, The Once and Future King, what knight who personifies bravery and chivalry is King Arthur's best friend? Oscar. Lancelot. That's right. According to data from the Treasury Department, what country is the largest foreign holder of U.S. debt? Guy. China. Yes. What Shakespeare tragedy is about an aging English king who decides to retire and divide his kingdom among his three daughters? 
Oscar. King Lear. King Lear is right. In the 1830s, that bell signifies the end of round one, and the score is Brookline with 160 points and Somerville with 140. We have a ball game. round is next, but first let's take a minute to get to know these guys. I've written a question here that I'm going to ask you each individually. So let's start with Brookline. In 2010, electric cars were a thing of the future. Now we see them on the road every day. What energy inefficient item should we tackle next and why? Guy. So I think we should make snow shoveling more efficient by giving everyone flamethrowers so that they can remove the snow faster because <laughs> modern problems require modern solutions. You are a true New Englander. Okay. <laughs> Emma, what about you? In the same vein of New England, I would improve the way that buildings are powered, specifically high schools. For instance, we could take the energy from the excess of turkeys flapping their wings and channel <laughs> that into our high school to power it. Okay, by turkeys, you're talking about the animals, not the kids in school, right? Okay, good. Oscar, how about yourself? I would improve the heating and air conditioning in large buildings, which is a large consumer of fossil fuels and expends a lot of unnecessary energy. Excellent. I love it. Bradley, how about yourself? I'll have to say the cattle industry because beef production is by far the most energy inefficient out of all foods. I've heard that. Okay, Somerville, how about you? Edith? Uh, I would improve caffeine so that you don't get the crash after a few hours. <laughs> now, don't become an addict there. Okay, Sam, how about yourself? I'm not the greatest at decision making, so when I'm going to get food, I'd rather have a see-through fridge door so that I don't have to stand there with the fridge doors open for like an hour before I actually take something out. <laughs> You've thought this through. Okay, Max, how about yourself? Um, I would say one of the greatest forms of modern inefficiency is the uh, U.S. Congress, so. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, yourself? Uh, I would get rid of printed newspapers. Not many people read newspapers. Oh. And everything's digital. I'm a newspaper guy, former newspaper <laughs> cartoonist, but you know. Okay, excellent answers. It's been fun getting to know you. And now we're going to come down to the front for the head-to-head -head round. Let's go. All right, we're about to go head-to-head. -head. I've got Somerville to my left and Brookline to my right. Shake hands, and we'll get started. Are you ready? As a reminder, in this round, you'll get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds. Here we go. What large building houses the US Department of Defense? Yes. Pentagon. That's correct. Beirut is the capital in Lark, Lebanon. Yes. Correct. Christopher Columbus first reached the New World in October of what year? Yes. 1492. Right. What search engine accounts for approximately 90%? Google. Yes. Correct. What is the chemical symbol for chromium? Yes. CR. Right. The artist Vincent van Gogh was born in 1853 in what country? Netherlands. Yes. Magwitch and Estella are characters in what Charles Dickens novel? Great Expectations. What peasant uprising that began in 1900 attempted to drive all foreigners from China? The Boxer Rebellion. Who was the 44th President of the United States? Yes. Obama. That's right. What U.S. state is the home to the Adirondack Mountains? Yes. New York. That's correct. In 1836, Texas declared its independence from what? Yes? Mexico. Correct. The pancreas secretes what hormone? That yes. Insulin. That's right. In ancient Egypt, mummies were wrapped in what fabric made from flax? Yes. Linen? Yes. What 20th century conflict is strongly associated with the concept of trench warfare? Yes. World War I? Yes. Name the only country that borders Monaco. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. France. In Greek myth, seven young men and seven maidens were sacrificed. That's the bell. That's the end of the round. Let's take a look at the score. It is Brookline with 220 points and Somerville with 190. Let's give it up for both teams. Next up is the category round with the following categories. Pretty Little Flyers, The Elizabethan Age, Fun with Triangles, Tour de France, Battle Cry of Freedom, and Ringside. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer and we'll need your answer. 
Somerville, you have some ground to make up, so you choose the first category. What's it going to be? We'll take fun with triangles for 10. Okay, fun with triangles. These are all questions about trigonometry. For 10 points, name the three main trigonometric functions. Oscar. Sine, cosine, and tangent. That's correct. What would you like next? Fun with triangles for 15. Fun with triangles for 15 points. If two legs of a right triangle are six inches and eight inches, what is the length of the hypotenuse? Max. 10 inches. 10 inches is correct, and you have control of the board. Uh, we'll take fun with triangles for 20. For 20 points, what is the sign of 90 degrees? Bradley. One. Oh. One is correct. <laughs> OK, you're in control of the board, Brookline. Fun with triangles for 25 points. For 25 points, named after a famous French mathematician, what triangle is an array of numbers where each number on the interior of the triangle is the sum of the two numbers directly above it? Kevin. Pascal. Pascal's triangle is correct. You have control of the board, Somerville. We'll take fun with triangles for 30. For 30 points, named after a Greek mathematician from Alexandria, what formula can you use to find the area of a triangle if you know the lengths of all three sides, but not the height? Bradley. Heron. Heron's formula is correct. And we need a new category from Brookline. A uh, battle cry of freedom for 10. These are all questions about the American Civil War. For 10 points, the first shots of the Civil War were fired on April 12th, 1861 at what island fort in Charleston Harbor? Max. Sumter. Fort Sumter is correct. Somerville, your category. We'll take Battle Cry of Freedom for 15. For 15 points, President Abraham Lincoln was shot at Ford's Theater just five days after Robert E. Lee surrendered at what Virginia courthouse? Yes, Max. Appomattox. That is correct. And you've still got control. We'll take Battle Cry of Freedom for 20. For 20 points, what 1857 Supreme Court decision stripped all African Americans of their citizenship and intensified national divisions over the issue of slavery? Sam. Dred Scott. Dred Scott is correct. You're still in control. We'll take Battle Cry of Freedom for 25. For 25 points, what two ships fought in the Battle of Hampton Roads, the first duel between ironclad warships that ushered in a new era of naval warfare? The answer is the Monitor and the Merrimack. Somerville, you're still in control. Uh, we'll take Battle Cry of Freedom for 30. For 30 points, Gettysburg was the largest military conflict in North American history. This epic battle was fought over how many days? Guy. Three. Three is correct, and that rounds out the category. You're in control. Pick a new category. Ring slide for 10. These are all questions about boxing. For 10 points, in 1974, in an epic battle called the Rumble in the Jungle, who knocked out undefeated world heavyweight champion George Foreman? Max. Ali. Correct. Muhammad Ali. And now you've got control of the board, Somerville? We'll take uh, Pretty Little Flyers for 10. All of the answers here include the name of a bird. OK, for 10 points, what famous poem begins, Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary? Oscar. The Raven. The Raven is correct. What would you like next? Pretty Little Flyers for 15. For 15 points, what celebrated ode by John Keats is about a bird that singest of summer in full-throated ease? Max. Ode to a Nightingale. Ode to a Nightingale is right. OK, you've got control of the board. We'll take Pretty Little Flyers for 20. For 20 points. In Alice's Adventure in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, what fictional character, an extinct bird, is a caricature of the author himself? Emma. Dodo bird. Dodo is correct. You have retaken control of the board. What would you like? Um, Elizabethan age for 10 points. OK. The Elizabethan age, these are all questions about women named Elizabeth. OK. For 10 points, nevertheless, she persisted. Mitch McConnell said this in 2017, after the Senate voted to silence what senator who objected to confirming Jeff Sessions as US Attorney General? <laughs> Emma. <laughs> Warren. Warren is right. You've still got control of the board. Elizabethan age. 
For 15, what star of the 1963 film Cleopatra was the first actress to be paid $1 million for a single film? Max. Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor is right. You have retaken control of the board. We'll take Pretty Little Flyers for 25. Pretty Little Flyers for 25 points. In Act 3, Scene 5 of Romeo and Juliet, the young couple gently argue over whether the song they hear is a nightingale or what bird that heralds the morning. Max. Dove. Incorrect. Brookline. The answer is the lark. Okay, you've still got control of the board. Somerville? Pretty little flyers for 30. For 30 points. One of the best-selling books of all time, what 1970 novella by Richard Bach is a fable about a non-conformist seagull who loves to fly very fast? The answer is Jonathan Livingston Seagull. So you've still got control of the board, but we need a new category. We'll take Elizabethan age for 20. For 20 points. What English poet is best known for Sonnet 43, which begins, How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. The answer is Elizabeth Barrett Browning. You're still in control, Somerville? We'll take Elizabethan age for 25. For 25 points. Who was the primary author of the Declaration of Sentiments, a call for female equality delivered at the 1848 Seneca Falls Convention in New York? Max. Stanton. That is correct. And you're still in control. Elizabethan age for 30. To round out the category, the new Broadway musical War Paint is about the 50-year rivalry between two giants of the cosmetic industry, Helena Rubinstein and what other entrepreneur? The answer is Elizabeth Arden. Somerville, we need a new category. You're still in control of the board. We'll take Tour de France for 10. Okay, great. These are all questions about the geography of France. For 10 points, the longest river holy in France, what river is studded with over 300 castles? The answer is the Loire. You're still in control, Somerville? Tour de France for 15. For 15 points. In the final stage of the Tour de France, cyclists cross the finish line on what grand boulevard in Paris? Max. Champs-Élysées. Champs-Élysées is correct. You're still in control. <laughs> We'll take Tour de France for 20. <laughs> that bell signifies the end of the category round, and the score is Brookline 350 and Somerville 330. We have a barn burner. Okay, we're heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, the lightning round. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers cost you 20. The clock is set, here we go. Which planet in the solar system has the strongest gravitational pull on Earth? Max. Mars. Jupiter. In George Orwell's Animal Farm, what type of animals are Napoleon and Pig. Bradley? Pig. Pigs is correct. What 1870 constitutional amendment prohibits denying citizens the right to vote on the basis? Yes, Sky. 15th. 15th, yes. In May 2018, what staunchly Catholic country voted overwhelmingly? Yes, Guy. Ireland. Ireland is right. What river flows through the Iraqi city of Baghdad? Guy. Euphrates. The Tigris is the answer. Foxes, wolves, and dogs all belong to what family? Emma. Canines. Yes, canines. Simona Halep, winner of the 2018 French Open, is from what eastern? Sam? Romania. Romania is correct. La Paz is the administrative, yes, Sam. Bolivia. Bolivia is correct. Ruling from 1714 to 1830, the first four Hanover kings of Great Britain all shared what first name? Sam. James. Incorrect, George. The earth is closest to the sun during which season in the northern hemisphere? Emma. Summer. Winter is right. His Dark Materials is an epic trilogy. Yes, Bradley. Pullman? Pullman is correct. What European country with a long history of neutrality did not... Guy. Switzerland. Switzerland is right. At what temperature are Fahrenheit and Celsius? Negative 40. Max. Negative 40. You got it. 
And that is the end of the round and the game. And the winner is Brookline with 430 points. The runner up is Somerville with 350. Congratulations to both teams for a great game. Brookline moves on to play in the quarterfinals, so be sure to tune in. We'll see you back here next week for High School Quiz Show. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Trees are down, the power is down, but you're not powerless. The mobile app from Safety Insurance can help you file a claim. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. The Museum of Science, featuring a new film, Cuba. Through the eyes of Cuban artists, historians, and scientists, you can take a look at what makes this island nation so unique and vivacious. Now playing at the Museum of Science's Mugar Omni Theater. More at MOS.org. This is the place where planets collide, where the world is taking notice, where 28,000 brilliant young minds from 65 countries call home. UMass Amherst, this is the place. <laughs> Production of WGBH.